Hello, everyone. Today, the bookworms are going to be reading a Clifford the Big Red Dog book called Clifford at the Circus by Norman Bridwell. I'm Emily Elizabeth, and I have a dog named Clifford. We saw a sign that said the circus was in town. A smaller sign said the circus needed help. We always wanted to join the circus. We ran there as fast as Clifford could run. The owner said everything was going wrong. He didn't think they could put on the show. I told him Clifford and I would help him. He didn't think a girl and her dog could be much help. But I said the show must go on. The first problem was the lions and tigers. They wouldn't obey the animal trainer. Clifford gave them a command. They listened to Clifford. After that, the animal trainer didn't have to worry anymore. Some clowns had quit the circus. The other clowns needed help with their act. I was sure Clifford could help. Clifford tried on some costumes. He found one he liked and joined the act. Clifford enjoyed being a clown. He wagged his tail. That made the act even better. The tightrope walker had a sprained ankle. Clifford tried to walk the tightrope. He was pretty good. It wasn't his fault that he couldn't get off the ground. Before the next act, we walked out on the midway. Clifford loves cotton candy. He sniffed it. He sniffed a little too hard. Licking the cotton candy off his nose made him thirsty. He took a drink. The circus man tried to stop him. It was too late. Clifford had spoiled the high diver's act, but he didn't spoil the high diver. Phew, that was close. The second half of the circus began with the elephants on parade. The biggest elephant had a cold in its nose and couldn't lead the parade, so Clifford slipped into an elephant suit and gave them a hand. I mean, a tail. The next act was the human cannonball. She didn't have any gunpowder for her cannon, so Clifford helped her out. He helped her right out of the tent. Then came the grand finale. I was going up in a balloon with the circus man. Everyone came out to watch. Oh dear! The rope broke. I didn't worry. I knew Clifford would save us. He rushed to the rescue, but he missed the rope. We were blowing away. Things looked bad. Clifford didn't give up. He grabbed an extra tent pole. He used some telephone wire and took aim. Bullseye! The balloon was falling like a rock. We were scared silly. But Clifford got there in time. Good old Clifford. Everyone said it was the most exciting end a circus ever had. Clifford saved the show and me. The end. That's it for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. For more read-alongs like these, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the book, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. Don't forget to join us every day for a new video with a fun read-along. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.